Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic with your host Kirby Kid and Black Superman, also known as David Clark and Walter Bryant. And today, this is a thank you Bandai episode. Yeah, I'd like to thank Bandai for the games that aren't in my hand because my partner I here is holding them, them all. And we're gonna put them and, up uh, one by one because there's order. I can hold one up. You really can. I really could. It would burst into flames, literally. It would not. It's you not would, technology. No. It's, it's a disc. It's tech. It's, tech. it's not a disc. It's, it's, you it's, like, oh, it's just, it is not, there's no wires. Anyways. So, okay, look, I'm bad with technology, yeah, but I can hold a disc. So anyway, I can hold a anyone disc. Anyone who's, who's been watching our videos knows that I was a big Ninja Storm player. I'm getting back in the game. I disc. And uh, I'm also a Gundam fan. And uh, both those things are made by Bandai. Uh, and so we've been friends with the guys at Namco Bandai. Uh, at the, we go to their booths all the time. We you know we check them out, see what's going on. And they were nice enough to send us some games for free that you all had to buy because Bandai doesn't love you. Bandai loves you all. They do. He's, he's they lying. Do. He's they lying. Do. They just love me to a much better degree than you. So <laughs> <laughs> our, our first game from uh, from Namco Bandai uh, is a. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of it. It's a uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Full Burst. I actually did not buy this game uh, originally because I... Here, you know what? Hold the game. Hold the game. Look, look, see, see, look. look. See? Uh, okay, look. Are you, you happy now? You happy? Yes, it's, and it's your favorite. So that, that makes me happy. Yeah, see, yeah. I don't just let anyone hold that game. In fact, you're actually the third person to ever hold the game. <laughs> it was Bandai, then me, and then you. See, that, that makes me feel special. All right. So anyways, this is Full Burst. Um, this was the... Uh, the upgrade to Ninja Storm 3. Basically, they added Kabuto and gave you all the DLC costumes for free. Um, I've been playing it, getting back to my, my, my playing weight, I guess. I don't know that, that that's a thing for video games. Uh, well, is this, you know, maybe. Yeah, all right, whatever, yeah. It's maybe for boxing video games. This is not boxing. Hey, hey, this is like extreme boxing. Okay, I'll give you that one. All right, then. So, with swords. Thank you for Ninja Storm. I'm getting ready for uh, Ninja Storm Revolution, which is going to have amazing amounts of characters. I've been looking that up at that and I played the demo it's amazing so thank you Bandai the next one uh, I've not played this one yet but w you just know you're gonna love it Pac-Man and the Ghostly Avengers okay well let, let, okay look. the pack is back look so Pac-Man's been around since since before I was born really yeah Pac-Man's really? been around for a long time when were you born 1975 oh okay then you old <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes, but with age comes experience and wisdom. And the love of the Pac-Man. Yeah, and the love of Pac-Man. <laughs> like, 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 back in the day, when I was like seven or eight years old, I would go to Walmart and play Pac-Man, and, you know, you got to sit there and you try to beat someone's high score. There's always that one guy. I only found out recently in life mm -hmm. that what the reason why this guy always had like a four billion point score was because that's all he ever did. <laughs> yeah, you know, as you're discovering with Ninja Storm right now. Yeah, it's a uh, okay. So I haven't played in a year and a half. I I skipped the game, um, obviously because well I'm busy. You know, you saw me here with all you doing doing our comics. I still keep in touch with ba Namco Bandai, but uh, or Bandai Namco as they want to be called. Um, but like, I couldn't dedicate the previous twenty or thirty hours a day <laughs> that I used to play on Ninja Storm uh, back when I was in college. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm slowly realizing that a uh, year and a half counts. Yeah. It does. You know, obviously, uh, and oddly enough, when you're an adult and you have adult things to do, when you're like trying to make a business work, make videos for and you guys because like we love you. five hours of free time a day. If you've got that. If. You can't spend that five hours playing video games. Nope, may may maybe one. If so you're lucky. Was, yeah. But when I'm rich, all day. Actually, no, because then I got... No, because then, then we got to do rich, <laughs> <laughs> rich people stuff. Uh, um, but, uh, so yeah. So, yeah, Pac-Man, uh, I'm going to play it. Uh, when we start playing these games, I'm going to be recording it and uploading footage and whatnot. But uh, it's Pac-Man. I've always loved... I, I, I've never played a game of Pac-Man that I didn't like. Because they just know, look, keep it simple. You're a yellow circle, and you eat white circles, and also occasionally ghosts. Our next game... Um, actually, all three of these games are the exact opposite of simple. <laughs> uh, we'll start off with one that you guys probably all know, Dragon Ball Z: The Battle of Z, which was, uh, I believe, based off of the uh, the movie that came out. Um, they're fighting the God of Destruction, which, like, he's a god, but then somehow Goku's like, "I'm now Super Saiyan God," and he's like, "Oh, well, you can die, hit me," and then I think he wins. I'm assuming because it's Goku. Still lose to Superman. Though. That's probably yes. That's true. That's probably the. Uh, 
how the, how the game goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have not played this game yet. I'm going to. Uh, my Xbox has been out in my garage for how long? Have Ever. You? Yeah, forever. I think I've only played mine once. Like my, my newest one, I only played it once. I think that's when Gears of War 3 came out, so not that long. Mm -hmm. On to the next game. About uh, from from Namco Bandai. Namco or Bandai, because Bandai, Bandai this, Namco. Because this is what this is about. This, this isn't is about them. Superman and Goku. This is for them. We love you. If you need anybody to do videos for you, hey, we can get you that 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 urban <laughs> feel. Because <laughs> we're back. All right. <laughs> Next up, uh, I actually they asked they asked me for games that I wanted. I actually asked for this one because it's the closest thing to a Gundam game that's good that we're gonna get because Bandai Japan seems to hate us. Armored Core Five. Verdict Day. Um, I know nothing about this game. Oh, really? Really? Can you just like lie and say you know everything about it? I know everything about this game. Cool. Basically, it's like real mechs. You, you customize. I mean, you you even go down to the cooling systems and the targeting systems on this mech. Um, takes a lot of work, a lot of time, uh, and it's really fun. And the graphics are usually really, really awesome mm -hmm. because you get to blow things up, and I like things blowing up. What Optimus Prime win? Against uh, Armored Core? Yeah. Like, one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because they have guns and... I know about Transformers. And the Transformers have magic. Straight up magic. <laughs> you know this. Well, Optimus don't. Prime does Optimus anyway. Prime is a wizard. <laughs> he is a warlock of the highest order. <laughs> Optimus Prime has a thing in his chest that can blow up a planet. Even if he didn't have it, though. The universe would just decide... Like, Optimus is like Batman. If he is to die... The universe decides, no, there must always be an Optimus. And he would find his way back. Not according to Transformers Prime, but then again, no. I, I guarantee you, like, within within the first three episodes, Prime comes back. You know he does. I mean, we, I don't know. But I'm assuming he does. Yeah, because, you know, they're, 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 they're going to continue on past Transformers Prime. On what there's, there's a new TV show coming on, for on, The Hub. On Hub? Oh, see, I don't watch The Hub. But didn't you watch Transformers Prime? Uh, you didn't watch Transformers Prime? No, here's what happened. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. I have enough time when I get home from work to watch like four shows and an hour of news so I can figure out what's going on in the world. And I go to sleep. And Transformers Prime didn't didn't fall into that? No, because you kept talking about the hub, but I've never <sighs> actually seen the hub as a channel. There's a part of my soul that just died just now. I'm sorry. He missed Transformers Prime. It was a Wait, good show. Transformers Prime. Did they have three kids that were with them? Yeah. Then I have seen one episode at least. Okay, then that part of my soul has come back to life. Cool. All Speaking right. of souls, the last game, which um, <laughs> I'm sure is going to make all of you guys who actually bought the game or haven't got the game yet super jealous because we're better than you. Um, this game came out last month. It's uh, Dark Souls 2. And unlike your Dark Souls 2, most likely, this is the Black Armor Edition, which comes with a bunch of free stuff, and the box is all nice and... And thicker and heavier and cooler and and it's free. It's free. That's the best part is that I didn't pay for it because Namco or Bandai Namco loves me. And let's be honest, after all the uh, model kits and other things I bought from Bandai over the years, they're probably like, we can give them a little bit. They, <laughs> <laughs> like we give them a little bit. They probably got tracers on it. Like they're, they're like, okay, hey, there goes David's credit card again. Right? They're like, ah, there, yeah, you good guy. Like I, as I speak, I'm looking at at least four model kits or five. Gun the model kits right now. I I I, I can tell the guys. I tell everybody you haven't put those together already. No, no, I'm putting. I have I have an enormous backlog <laughs> of kits right now. I'm actually building the Shadow Gundam, which Gundam fans will will know it's Master Grade. It's gonna be pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, I, I have an enormous backlog. You should do a video of yourself putting together a Gundam. No, I don't have enough tape. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a 32 uh, gig. Nah, man, it it's it's it, empty. I've it, it, it is a week long process at least, and that's assuming I don't have work, which I do, which means no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's Dark Souls two. I'm gonna get the chance to play that finally and see what's all the all the hubbub is about. Um, but once again, thank you to Bandai Namco. We uh, we appreciate it. We love that you love us, and we love you even more. Um, I guess uh, you other people who don't. Had the favor of the Bandai Namco gods, uh, I guess. Sorry. Too bad. Yeah. We're over. When we get the box, it, we open it up, and it's like, oh. That's it for this one video. We're going to do a couple more short ones, but we just had to say thank you to Bandai. So, until next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, 
Share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not so great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. You do know what's in the box from Pulp Fiction, right? I've never seen Pulp Fiction. You've never seen Pulp Fiction? No. Okay. I've seen GIFs. Or you can't.